Hi, in this particular video we're going to be looking at Pythagoras theorem. This is aimed at roughly about grade 4 GCSE. Please do, as always, stop the video, have a go at each of the questions, download the worksheet, download the worksheet, have a go at each of the questions, compare your solutions, and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the video. If you need any help, always leave a comment, I'll come back to you. Okay, so this particular worksheet is aimed at around about grade 4. There is also a grade 5 um, more challenging Pythagoras worksheet on the website 3 Minute Maths if you want to go and have a look at that as well. I'm going to be using the same way of approaching Pythagoras for all of these. Now I'm very aware that some people might write this slightly differently. The way I tend to write it is a squared equals b squared plus c squared. Okay, where a for me is always the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle. So in this particular case, what I'm going to say is that b is going to be 5.3, and I'm going to square that, plus c, which is going to be 8.4. I'm going to square that, and all of that equals a squared. And when I calculate that, I get a value of a squared of 98.65. Okay, if I then square root it, I get a equals 9.9322, which therefore to one decimal place, that's going to mean that the unknown side is going to be um, A, which equals 9.9 .9 centimetres, and that would be the answer to the first question. Okay, now some people might write this as c squared equals b squared plus a squared or something else. Okay, for me personally, I'm just going to use a as being the unknown, but it doesn't really matter, providing you're absolutely sure that it's the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. Okay, so there's a few practice questions here. Please do have a go at each of these questions. So in question number two, I'm going to use the same formula, a squared equals b squared plus c squared. I'm going to say a is my hypotenuse, so I can write that as 15.5 squared equals, let's say 8.2 here is going to be b, which is 8.2 squared, and my unknown side is going to be equal to c. Okay, so therefore if I rearrange that, I'm going to get 15.5 squared minus 8.2 squared equals c squared, pop that into a calculator, I'm going to get 173.01 equals c squared, so therefore square root c is going to be 13.1533. Okay, so therefore the unknown side is equal to 13.2 centimetres, and that is correct to one decimal place. Okay, so hopefully you're getting the idea with this. It really is just a case of putting in the um, information that we've got and then working out the unknown side. So I'm going to do exactly the same with this. My hypotenuse is going to be a. So I'm going to write a squared equals b squared plus c squared. I'm going to say that 17.2 squared. That doesn't really matter in this particular case. I'm going to call this one b and the unknown c again. But it doesn't really matter, providing you, you show your working um, something along this sort of lines is perfectly fine. Okay, so that's going to be 17.2 squared minus 10.1 squared. Now you'll notice I've not really picked up a calculator at this particular point. I like to actually show all of my working and then pick up the calculator at the very end and that just I think is a better way of uh, showing your calculations and showing your understanding of the problems. Okay, so C, which is the unknown side, is going to be 13.9222. So to one decimal place, that's going to be equal to 13.9 centimetres. And that would be, in this particular case, two marks for this sort of question. Now, there are um, there is another sort of sheet here of similar sort of questions. Um, and again, I'm just going to approach these in exactly the same way. I'm going to say A squared equals b squared plus c squared. Now, you might want to stop this particular video, have a go at these types of questions. The only slight issue here is we've got two decimal places, okay, but I'm just going to do exactly the same, where c is the unknown side and b is the side I know, okay, and therefore I've got 9.15 squared minus 5.35 squared equals c squared. Pop that into a calculator, I'm going to get 55.1 
equals c squared. Okay, so therefore c is going to equal 7.4229 equals c. So therefore my unknown side to one decimal place again is 7.4 centimeters. Okay, let's move on then to b. Um, I have uh, deliberately given you a fair bit of practice with these. Um, the reason being really is that um, Pythagoras is extremely popular for particularly for calculator type questions um, papers um, and if you get used to sort of working with uh, Pythagoras it's fairly straightforward you don't really need to do too much other than put the numbers into the formula and then also into the calculator itself okay so we've got 18.02 squared minus 14.57 squared equals c squared okay that's going to give us 112.4355 equals c squared okay so c is going to equal to 10.603 which means the value of the unknown which is c to one decimal place is going to be 10.6 centimeters uh, meters actually on this one and that's the end of that particular question okay so finally the final sort of calculation type question on this or straightforward calculation before we move on to some word problems is going to be a squared equals b squared plus c squared now you'll notice now that the um, dimensions are actually in millimeters doesn't really make any difference 170 squared equals I'm going to call this one b and this one c so b squared plus 110 squared okay take the two away from each other minus 110 squared and that's going to equal b squared and that's going to give me uh, 16800 equals b squared pop that into a square root sign I'm going to get 129.6 148 equals B, so therefore to one decimal place it's 129.6 millimeters. And that would be the answer to that question. Okay, so hopefully that's okay for it, gives you plenty of practice. We're going to move on now to um, a question which involves sort of more wordy type questions. Now you are going to get these um, quite a bit, and my big suggestion is always, always, always draw a sketch. Okay, so what we've got is a vertical wall, and we've got a 3.8 eight meter length um, ladder that's leaning up against the wall and the distance from the base of the ladder to the base of the wall which is this distance at the bottom here is going to be 0 0.8 now um, it's a vertical wall so therefore it's a right angle what I'm going to say is that a is the hypotenuse which is the length of the ladder itself so I'm going to use a squared equals b squared plus c squared so that's going to be 3.8 squared and in this particular case I'm going to say the height up the wall is going to be b which is equal to b squared plus 0.8 squared take the two away from each other 3.8 squared minus 0.8 squared equals b squared put that into a calculator I'm going to get 13.8 equals b squared square root it and I get 3.7148 equals b okay so therefore to uh, three significant figures then um, you could write if you wanted to the height at the wall or something like that I'm just going to leave it for the purposes of the video as 3.71 meters and I'll put that down as three significant figures okay and that would be the answer to the first question or oh, question number three okay so let's move on then to the next one so Tony is packing a suitcase to go to an exhibition so there's quite a bit of words in this particular one but it basically boils down to that you've got a suitcase which has an internal dimension is 98 centimeters now they want us to fit or see if a 1.2 meter long rule and it's very typical these sorts of questions is you're going to get different units okay so what I'm going to do is convert everything to meters so the suitcase internal is 0 0.98 meters by 0 0.78 meters and if he's going to put the ruler in then the the place that he can put it which gives him the maximum amount is going to be along here okay so this effectively is a and then I've got a nice right angle triangle there and the bottom here is 0 0.98 
So therefore I can do always what I've done before, a squared equals b squared plus c squared. Okay, so a in this particular case is going to be the length of the ruler or the space for the ruler. Okay, and I can just carry on doing my normal calculations as I would do, knowing that what it's actually going to give me is the dimension in meters. So it's very important, I think, to set these types of questions up if you possibly can. Now in this particular case, A is going to work out as a square root of 1.2525 meters. Um, so will it fit? Yes, it will. Yes, it will fit. It's only just going to fit but it will actually fit into a Tony's suitcase. Okay, and it's going to be, um, if you prefer, so you might want to write corner to corner. Okay, and that would be absolutely fine. Okay, hopefully that's all right for you. Let's move on then to question number five. Again, it's just really a case of understanding what it is they're asking you to do. Now, um, they want you to calculate the length AB in meters. Okay, and that's important because at the moment we're being given the dimensions in centimeters. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a, a sketch here okay what we're looking at so effectively this is a and b uh, this is um, a right angle triangle and 80 centimeters which is the height of the disc is actually 0 0.8 in meters okay and then the um, the diameter of the disc at the moment is showing a radius of 350 centimeters so therefore if I want to know the actual diameter well that's going to be 700 centimeters which is the same as saying 7 meters okay so this would be 7 meters okay hopefully that's okay for you alright so now we've got everything in meters what we're going to do is do exactly the same as we've always done a squared equals b squared plus c squared and I'm going to say a which is um, effectively the length a b okay so that's going to be 0 0.8 squared plus 7 squared pop that into your calculator you're going to get 49.64 okay so therefore if I remember that square uh, that's a squared so a is going to equal 7.8 zero four five five six so therefore in here I can write length um, a B and correct to two decimal places is going to be 7.05 meters okay and that's the answer to that particular question okay hope that was useful for you so we're on the home straight now um, we've got uh, three more questions to do um, all along a similar sort of lines really but uh, these ones are actually four mark type questions you tend to get extra marks if you've got to apply um, Pythagoras in this particular case a couple of times so so let's have a look at what's happening with triangle number one. So triangle number one will allow us to work out the length of effectively its hypotenuse, which is A. Okay, so triangle one, A squared equals B squared plus C squared. So I can pop that in as being equal to 8.4 squared plus C squared, which is 15.6 squared put that into a calculator I'm going to get that a squared equals 313.92 so therefore a which is the length of the hypotenuse of triangle one is going to be 17.7177 okay so now I know that this is going to be 17.71 so it allows me then to calculate triangle two Okay, where effectively the hypotenuse for triangle two is going to be this new A, if you like. So I've felt I've dealt with that A, okay, and the new A, which is the hypotenuse of the new triangle two, is going to be 19.5. So triangle two, okay, again, always write the formula A squared equals B squared plus C squared. Okay, so in this particular case, A now is going to be 19.5 squared equals, uh, well, effectively, um, if I say that this is the new B. Okay, so I can actually write the B 
B squared version of it as 313.92. I could actually write that if I wanted to as 17.7177 squared. But since I've already got it in its squared form, then I might as well leave it. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Okay, so plus C squared, which is actually the value of X that I'm looking for. Now, it's a little bit tight on my calculations here, but I'll do my best. So 19.5 squared minus 313.92 equals C squared. Okay, pop that into a calculator and you should get something like 66.33 equals C squared. So C is going to be equal to 8.144. Okay, which is the value effectively over here. Okay, so therefore length of X and this is to three significant figures is going to be 8.14 meters and that's brackets 3SF. Okay, hopefully that's okay for you. There's a little bit of working out, but it's well worth it for those four marks. And it's much the same really with question number seven. So um, with question number seven, we're going to use triangle one to work out this value over here. Okay, now you might actually recognize it. Um, triangle one is what's called a Pythagorean triple. Okay, so actually I already know the answer uh, before I'm gonna uh, work it out, but I'm gonna say the hypotenuse is gonna be A. So A squared equals B squared plus C squared. And if uh, 13 squared equals, let's just say that um, uh, 12 is going to be B and my unknown bit is going to be C. So that's going to be 12 squared plus C squared. So 13 squared minus 12 squared equals C squared. So that's going to give me 25 equals C squared. So C must equal to 5. And it's it's kind of a well-known, um, what, what are called Pythagorean triples. Okay, so these have already been worked out. Okay, so let's pop um, this now as 5. Okay, and it puts me in a position where I'm able then to actually work out triangle 2. And now I've got a slightly different case where X is actually my new A. Okay, so triangle two. Okay, well, that's going to be equal to A squared equals B squared plus C squared. Okay, well, I know that B in this particular case is going to be five squared plus eight squared. And that's going to give me 25 plus 64. And therefore, A squared is going to equal 89. OK, square root that. A equals 9.43398. OK, so therefore, um, X is going to equal 9.43398 centimeters and that's to 3SF. Okay, hopefully that's all right for you. Let's move on to the very last question. Okay, <laughs> and this has gone on for a little while now. The very last question on this particular um, sheet is going to be this one now. Um, I, I, I used this with some of my tutoring students uh, the other night and actually they found this a little bit trickier but it's interesting really because it's still a squared equals b squared plus c squared all we're saying is that a squared in this particular case is going to be 5 squared now because it's a square then this must be x and this must be x in other words they must be exactly the same as each other so I've got x squared plus x squared. So really all we need to do is solve this for the value of x. So I've got 25 equals 2x squared. Divide through by 2, I get 12.5 equals x squared. Square root it and I get 3.5355 equals x. Okay, so therefore, if I want to work out the perimeter of the square, then it's going to be equal to 4 lots of x. Put that into a calculator or calculate it yourself as 14.142135. Uh, okay, that might be a bit of a struggle to calculate that one. Okay, but essentially the perimeter to uh, three significant figures is going to be equal to 14.1 uh, centimeters and that's 3SF and that would be the answer to that question. So really all we're doing is just reapplying 
uh, Pythagoras in exactly the same way as we have done before. I hope the video was helpful to you. It's a video on Pythagoras. Please do like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.